In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving simple linear regression with the Casio FS, that one ES class with calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions. And after going through this video, you will be able to solve problems involving simple linear regression with the Casio calculator. So ensure you stay with me till the end of this video. You are going to learn something interesting, guys. Okay, so having known that, before I bring the Casio calculator and going into the details of this video, Let's quickly look at the problem I have here going to solve together. So this is a problem. We are giving X values and Y values. So right now let's bring the calculator and go into the details of this video. Okay, this is Casio FS. Another one ES class with calculator. Okay, as usual, the very first thing you have to do is to clear the essence of doing it is to put your calculator in default mode or to reset it to remove whatever previous value. Or whatever previous mode you might have placed the calculator on. Those of you who don't know how to do it to clear it, everybody shift but nine for the instruction, want to initialize all, press three, then press record and press record again. Right now we have cleared the calculators now in a default mode. Now, before I begin to solve this problem, if you look at the slide I have here, this is the formula for simple linear regression, y equals beta base zero plus beta base one x plus e this e okay where i where i said e stands for random error beta base zero st stands for intercepts and beta base one stands for what slope so this is the formula for simple linear regression now if you look again carefully i i noted something i said note why why equals a plus b s plus c is something as Beta base 0 plus beta base 1x plus e, which is random error. Now, what well, this is very important, guys, because there are some questions you will see. The examiner may choose to use this formula that involves a plus bx plus c in replacement for beta base 0 plus beta base 1x plus e. So the two of them mean the same thing, they, they are the same thing. So don't be confused with either of them. They uh the same thing so it depends on what designer wants to use that's why i i outline them here for you guys that you can identify any of them that they are the same it's as simple as that guys so having known that let's quickly go ahead and solve this problem we have here this example so you go to menu okay now when once you get to menu remember this thing is under statistics so we need to go to statistics it's simple linear regression is not statistics. The topic is statistics. So you press six. Okay, so once you press it, when it gets here, you choose option two, guys. Very important option two. If we are going to, to solve this problem. Okay. So once you press option two, very good to the very place. So once you get here, you begin to impute your respective values. So our x values, we have it to be quickly have it to four point three. Okay. We have it to be we have five four point five okay five point nine okay six point three these values you don't have to impute them once three point four okay we have next they have to be five point two very interesting guys four point seven we have three point three and lastly we have four point one for x values okay so let's go right over to y values and impute the respective values for y values so you <laughs> click on this download button and you take it up so let's impute y values we have um to be one four three okay tell me guy one four three up the next value one four two point five Okay, we have one four five one four five point three. Okay, we have one four six one four six point five. Very, very interesting guys. Alright, we have one four one point two. Alright, we have one four four. Very, very interesting. Okay, we have one four two point one all right we have one three nine one three nine okay 
and lastly we have 145 145.1 that's it that's all right yeah correct so guys now that we are done imputing these values just note that as we are imputing them the calculator was storing them automatically so having known that the values are stored automatically let's press ac button to wipe them out and begin to find or i asked to find okay let's press ac button okay now once we are press this remember we want to find the intercepts the slope and correlation coefficients that's how i'm going to show you guys so find the press option okay so once you press option i'm going to go to the press demo button go to regression now to find your your a remember our a is something that's better be zero which is our, which is our intercept right press one then press equal to so this is the value for our a one three four point five two zero one nine okay now to find the value for your b which is the same thing as beta base one that's our slope press ac button go back to option go downward regression four now b is what press two and press equal to the value is what one point eight seven zero nine four two two zero one so that's the value for beta base one of the b pretty simple as the slope guys very, very, very simple guys now lastly let me show you how to get the correlation coefficient which is our l just press ac button go back to option go downward okay regression is option four now this l is stands for correlation coefficient in case you're asked to find the correlation coefficient guys just come here option three that's our correlation coefficient press equal to and you display we have it to be 0 0.82 8593 if you want to leave it in two decimal places they are 0 0.82 if you are cosmetic 0 0.83 that's simple as that guys now let me show you if you don't want to go by this pattern solving the one by one just want to see the respective values once all you have to do is just go let's press ac key and go to option now just press regression calc that's regression calculation if you press it and uh, you see the respective values of display we have our a which is uh, our intercept the same thing with our beta base zero you see the value is here our b which is our same type beta base one our slope you see is here then our r correlation coefficient which is what we got when we used another way to solve it so the values are stay the same so guys this is basically how you can solve problems so involving simple linear regression with this calculator because your f first number one es plus this calculator this is a, a half the tricks i use personally to do it fast and save time so i hope you learned something interesting if you're new to our channel and you may subscribe to this channel make sure you hit the subscribe button now subscribe to our channel for more videos like this also like share comment on this video tell me how you feel regarding what you have learned in this class if you seem to have any specific question to ask feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and I'm sure to give you a response. That's it for this last guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the calculator once you are done. To do that, simply press shift button 9. Okay, sorry. Press shift button 9. Then initialize all. So the calculator is not clear. We are good to go, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.